Hi, it's Wayne Judge here from Adreno. I'm going to talk about dive safety. If there was one action you could do to increase your safety while diving, you'd make sure it was done. And there is such an action. This thing will handle the fact that you could make some pretty dumb mistakes and still get away with it if you have this point in. And that is always dive with a dive buddy. This doesn't mean you jump in the water with someone and then you both go different directions. No, it means actually interacting. One person down, one person up. The person on the surface is being responsible for the person below. So especially if he's diving deep and he's down, you wouldn't be off sparing a fish because if he ran into trouble, you're not there. So this is part of the teamship, and this is how you build up a really good, safe diving team. An important point on this is learning what to do if you did run into a blackout or a samba. The actions are pretty simple, but if they're not drilled and you run into it, it can be a real a panic. You don't know what to do and you're wondering whether you're doing right or whatever. We're not gonna go into that now, but there are places that can teach you how to handle a blackout or a samba. And a samba is a partial blackout where a person loses motor control. There are places you can learn how to do this, and they are Brisbane freedivers in Brisbane, Brisbane bull sharks in Brisbane, Sydney freedivers, Melbourne freedivers, Perth freedivers, South Australia freedivers. There are, uh, there are places in Cairns, uh, a couple of shops you'd go to that would be able to help you out on that. The important thing about drilling this is it may be very simple, but once you get it down, if it happens in reality, you don't think, you just do. It's not a panic. It's not a, at the end of it, that person becomes your, your, your boat boy for the rest of the day and you carry on diving. It doesn't wipe out your day. And why doesn't it? Because you were prepared. You watched the person come up in that top 10 meters where they were uh, in their most vulnerable time. You watched that. If he blacked out, you were able to grab him, bring him to the surface, go through the various simple actions which you will learn at those uh, free diving centers. And he's fine. If you're not there and he does have a trouble, it could be as simple as that and he's gone. So dive with a buddy, but it's actively be a dive buddy. The next thing to really watch out for is the most dangerous thing in the ocean. And it's not sharks, it's boats. Boat drivers, they struggle to see you even if they got floats. If they're going into the sun or they're talking or something like that, they may not even see you. If you've got a float with a flag tethered to your gun, and you're dragging that round, your chances of survival are so much greater. A boat, even if it's a last minute, it will flip around you. A boat should give you 60 meters leeway. You know, I've heard it being said, oh yeah, forget the, forget the floats, forget the, the lines, get out there with reels. Now diving with reels can be great. In the right places, it's bang on, I enjoy it. However, especially for newcomers, get a flag, get a float, get the line, and get that in until you know 100%. You're not uncomfortable, you know how to untangle them, it doesn't bother you. At that point, you could start looking at when to dive, if, if you're gonna dive with a reel. The other part about having a, a float and a flag, when you're being your dive buddy and someone's diving below your visibility, water's 15, 20 meters deep, vis is 10 meters, goes out of sight, if he, has no, um, if he has no line going up to the float, how do you know where he's going to come up? You actually don't. Could come up behind you. If he struggled and had trouble, you won't be there to help him. However, if he's got that line coming up from him, you follow the line. When the line goes around the corner, you just keep following. You know he's going to come up somewhere at the end of that line. You, know, you don't have to see him and uh, you will see him come up and be able to help him if he needs. As a dive buddy, you probably should get CPR training as well. 
uh, if you have complications that go beyond that, someone's been you know, picked off the bottom or something like that, heart's not going, CPR training is vital. We're going to cover one more point in this little video about safety, and that's about tethering fish to your body. This is a sure way to run into trouble, and not just in Queensland. We have lost divers because fish were tethered to them and the shark came up, went to take the fish, grabbed hold of the diver. I have a friend who had a fish close to him when a grey nurse shark came in and it grabbed him by the knee for a short while. It was a very unpleasant thing, you can bet. So it's just really smart not to tether fish to your body. There's lots of advices you could uh, get into about the various wildlife you run into and they could be the subject of many videos. Uh, in this video, we're just trying to give you a few real usable points that you can go out tomorrow and uh, you know, bring into your diving practices. Uh, and that's the main point we want. We want you to dive safer. Out there, it's random. You have no idea. Freak waves, crazy boat drivers, there are stacks of things that can come your way. You just need to be prepared and you need to be, uh, have diving practices down that uh, allow you to handle those emergency situations. I'm going to wish you safe diving and catch you next time.